1953, Earth experienced a war of the worlds. Common bacteria stopped the aliens, but it didn't kill them. Instead, the aliens lapsed into a state of deep hibernation. Now the aliens have been resurrected, more terrifying than ever before. In 1953, aliens started taking over the world. Today, they're taking over our bodies. the bed for the river water to run. It can walk over the mountains in a single step. Dad, you've told me of Kayla Litabik every time we've ever come to this river. I have told you, but as of yet, you have not heard it. yourself according to tribal tradition.
moving to college. I own a piece of land and I plan on building a house. And I never lost a fight with anyone. I'm in excellent health and I feel good about who I am. I'm ready to own the spirit to set it. I am ready. People. My guess is this was made in the mid 1500s, which makes it uh, over 400 years old. I where did he get that this Has he said where he got those? Fine. Where did you get that, you grave robber? People like him should be banned from dealing in antiquities. You're being too easy on him, Harrison. Uh, well, once I have this authenticated by the museum, I will be auctioning it off. I believe that uh, this headdress, North American Indian find of the century, uh, will fetch upwards of a million dollars. He said he bought it from an anonymous private collector. Right. Can you save me a shot of that? Sure. What do you make of that, in the center? That mm. clown, he should be arrested for theft, sacrilege, desecration, violation of a people's culture and heritage. Mm. What? Take a look at this. That triangular piece in the center. Look at the edges. Well, that's glass. In the mid-1500s? I'm impressed with the quality of the workmanship. Must be mica. Could be quartz. Oh, I'm... Now, wait a minute. What are you saying? All I'm saying is that it's curious. I know that tone of voice. You learned it from him. Colonel being a little cranky today. What do you say we take a closer look at this uh, triangular what's-its, all right? The man of the hour. Uh, Watching television has paid off again. But it takes its toll, softens the brain. There, the starter for our warships. We must get that starter. It must mean there's a ship nearby. If we had a warship, 
Our battle on this garbage heap of a planet would be different. We would be unstoppable. We must get the starter, then the warship, then victory. I'm running numbers and analyses on it. What is it? Well, I deal in probabilities, Colonel, not realities. Just answer the question, Mr. Drake. I think the question should be, what isn't it? Well, what it isn't, according to the data, is an Indian artifact. The surfaces seem machined way beyond the Indian's technical capability. And ours, too. I think we'd better take a look at it. Yes. So did you get the pictures? Huh? Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do you think it is? I, I think it's West Deskowin. Yeah. No, I don't think it's glass, crystal, or quartz. I don't know what the hell it is. Now listen. This is strictly confidential, okay? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I got it. When I put the damn thing on, it makes a noise. Noise? You ever heard of anything like that? That's amazing. Just listen to this. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> More than a million? <laughs> Listen, you get me a million, you get a taste of it. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> How the hell did you get in here? Who the hell are you? Listen, if you're not out of here in the next 10 seconds, I'm calling the police. You have no right to those objects. Return what you have stolen from my tribe, or you will die. This is private property, pal. Hello, police. There's some Indian here threatening to kill me. was innocently minding his own business when the Indian broke into his loft and threatened his life. He was terrorizing Mr. Newport. After we got the complaint, we found him wandering around lost over in the industrial district. Didn't seem a threat to yeah, anyone. He was a threat to others, and from what you're telling me, him, sir. I threatened no one. Thanks a lot, but we don't need your help. I only spoke the truth. The man who desecrated our sacred burial ground will die if he doesn't return what rightfully belongs to the Westescuan nation. Do you mind? 
Okay, where were we? We must present our case dispassionately. There is no room for personal access to grind. I'll do my best to watch myself, Colonel. Don't worry about me, Harrison. I'm trained to keep my feelings under complete control. I see. Just remember, smiles make people like you. Good. Good afternoon. Mark Newport. Do you have an appointment? We don't need an appointment. What Colonel Ironhorse means to say is that uh, we're here because we have reason to believe that your recently purchased artifacts are part of an ongoing federal investigation. What are you talking about? All that we're at liberty to say is they are part of an ongoing investigation that involves the very highest levels of national security. If we can see the artifacts now, please. Who are you two guys? <laughs> Look, I'm going to call my lawyer. We just like to examine the artifacts. Nobody touches that stuff. It's not as if it belonged to you, mister. That's it. I want you two guys out of here now. I threw that sad ass the old Indian in jail. I can do the same to you. I purchased those items legitimately. I don't have to answer your accusation. You think we should leave? Hello, police? You think we should leave quickly. No problem. There's the service entrance. We don't have to go in the back door. We have identification. That's right. <laughs> there can be no mistakes. <laughs> Mr. Newport? I gotta get a lock for that door. We're from the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Yeah, that's great. But the door out there says by appointment only. 
and I'm real busy right now. So if you could come back tomorrow... We'd like to see the headdress you displayed at your press conference. Look, I don't know who the hell you people are, but... We'd like to see that headdress right now. Yes, anonymously. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. Are you all right, sir? I'm in the military, and if there's anything that I can do to help you get your tribal property back, I want you to know that I'm ready. We'll get our property back. How do you know that? It is a way of things. Norton, Mark Newport was murdered. It looks like aliens, but I can't be sure about getting into the police data. Now the forensic unit is just arriving. I'd like you to keep us informed as the data comes in. Hold on, Harrison. When the feds kick in the doors looking for the person who broke into the top secret computer banks, where are you gonna be? I'm just gonna tell them you were a brilliant young mind gone bad. A rogue computer nerd bound on destruction and wreaking havoc and panic among the multitudes. I can live with that. your standing orders, comrade. That you not be interrupted, advocate. Yet there you stand, in defiance of these orders. I assume that you'd be interested in the latest communique from our action squad, advocate. Mm -hmm. They report that all is going smoothly, as hoped. It's safe to say, then. The crystal is in their possession. It is. Presently, the squad is moving cautiously, yet expeditiously toward the objective. Excellent! 
See that we're informed the moment they reach the landing site. As you order, Advocate. It will be refreshing to finally report positive progress to Council. Here we are. Thanks for getting me out of jail. Hey, it's no problem. Excuse me. You bail my father out of jail? Yes. Colonel Paul Ironhorse. Grace Lone Tree. Thank you. We will repay any money you put out on his behalf. Well, we don't have that much right now. As long as he shows up for his arraignment, I'll get my money back. Though I hadn't realized I'd be driving all day. Why did you do this for my father? I was as outraged about the defiling of the Indian burial sites as he was. And he reminded me of my grandfather. Well, we thank you. And he does as well. When I asked him who you were, he said the spirit sent you to him to drive him home. And he was going to thank the spirits. Thank you. You know, <laughs> my grandfather, he used to disappear for like four or five days. And he used to tell my grandmother that he was going off to see the spirits. I think, I think he had a girlfriend in the next valley, though. Where was Tesquin? People of the river. What tribe are you? Cherokee. How many of you are on the reservation? There are many of tribes here. The Nooksack, Shimshian, Kwakukta. We've only about 85 West Tesquin. Most of the young leave. We're trying to change that. Oh. I teach school here. I try to teach the young to be proud of their heritage. Good for you. I wish someone had done that with me. When I grew up, I was taught to be ashamed of being an Indian. It was only later that I became proud of our traditions and history. George Custer, West Point train. What? I... 
I haven't spoken to an Indian woman in a long time. Well, we're out of the teepee and we're back with a vengeance. I bet you're not so tough. We have an archaeologist who we suspect was murdered by the aliens. They've stolen what we're after, which is an apparent alien artifact. And Iron Horse has taken the man who was involved with both the archaeologist and the artifact back to his home in the reservation. We're talking suspected. We're talking apparent. We're talking coincidence. The colonel hasn't even checked in yet. How much could be wrong? Too much, Suzanne. Sounds a tad like a healthy case of paranoia to me. As a doctor, you know the paranoia is nothing but a baseless fear augmented by extenuating circumstances. My fear that the aliens pose a threat to Colonel Ironhorse and the rest of us is hardly baseless. Then the probabilities say we should go to the reservation. Precisely. For answering the question correctly, you get to drive. I'm from one world and you're from another. Like night and day. It just wouldn't work. It isn't even worth trying. Looks like you get to stick around a while longer. You will come with me. Father, would you stop doing that? <sighs> He's always popping up out of nowhere. Drives me crazy. You will come with me. But, sir, I have to be heading back now. I can't. <laughs> strength to win all battles 
and survive all crises. It is a valuable legacy. It is a legacy of survival. Spirits want you to have the knowledge of that legacy. of the raven is watching us. The sky is the roof. Above the roof, my people believe the stars live as people. The visitors from many years ago came from beyond the stars. That's the legend, right? This way. I hate it when you say things like that. I'm usually right. That's why I hate it.
Excuse me. We're looking for a Colonel Paul Ironhorse. Paul is with my father. Could you tell us where they are? We'll be back in a while. Look, we've got reason to believe that Colonel Ironhorse is in grave danger. That means your father is in danger, too. Now, we might be able to help. We can get there faster by car. Suzanne, you drive. Proceed with your report, comrade. We've secured the vessel, Advocate. It's a very early model, but all systems seem to be operating in good order. This is excellent news, comrade. Board the battlecraft and return here with all haste. The Advocacy demands the honor of personally leading the way to victory. As you order, Advocate. And your wishes regarding our hostages? Kill them. Wait. Let the Earthlings live. As messengers of fear, the humans will undoubtedly spread despair among their kind. The ensuing chaos will help our push with a final solution. The beginning of the end of human life on this planet. Exactly, comrade. A most comforting thought. He's got 
Not to alert the Air Force! There's a mobile phone in the car! I'll tell them what's happening! Could you tell me how what happened last night happened? It was the spirits. Looked like you had a lot to do with it. I put a drop of water in the river. May I see that? You want it? Yes, of course. But... Uh... I don't know what to say. It is what it is. Father, you gave him the sacred tribal, you gave him.
I gave him what he thought he wanted. <laughs>